We're sitting in the water cube with four young ladies whose name are. Van der Waal. I'm Sophie Soyamo. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. Sylvia <laughs> Kalle. And I'm Helen Legeby. Alright, nice to meet you guys. Uh, so, tell me what you're doing here. We are junior reporters for the theme number four uh, in the World Water Week, uh, and the theme of our theme is responding to social, economic, and demographic changes. So we are basically observing all the sessions in the week from that perspective. All right. Uh, why do you think that's that's important? Why is that an important issue that's being handled? Is it? The, um, the outline of world will change rapidly with urbanization and population, yeah. and climate change. Yeah. It's uh, it, water is like a global, a very very global issue, and demographic and socioeconomic change as well. Mm -hmm. Very global, and uh, yeah, they connect very much to each other. Mm. Yeah. And I think it's actually quite interesting team to be in because uh, the issues we are looking at are basically dynamics and the uh, sort of the changing world order and security issues, and they're really pressing issues. And uh, all of them are actually uh, the topics we've been looking at are something that need uh, like really sh mm. quick response, but. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think all the issues are like interlinked. They are. We, but at the same time, we have like very different issues in developed countries and in developing countries. Mm -hmm. And so the economic changes are different in very different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. So I think what I like most in the conferences is like the case studies. You can see real examples of how to do things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's not only about to create ideas and yeah. agendas, it's yeah. also how to do it in practice. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Totally agree. Okay, so how, how's the future looking for these these issues? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, mm. I mean, should be positive, I think. Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> there's, there's no other way out than positive attitude. Yeah. We just have to take that very good example. Yes, we have a we have a positive uh, uh, <laughs> attitude. Yeah, yeah. A positive attitude for it. I think yeah, all of us. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Otherwise, uh, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> yeah, with economical growth in China and India, it creates a lot of opportunities mm. for yeah. handling these problems. You see, it's hard to get to the concrete yeah. measures. <laughs> so we are going to think positively now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a very complex picture, and of course, you need some like global frameworks, but. Then you like ultimately you have to think about the solutions in the local level. Okay, and do you feel that progress has been done these past few days? That there has been progress in this yes. sense. Yeah, I think we have come across some yeah, like really some interesting, interesting ideas and very inspiring ideas yeah. as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, uh, different solutions that has actually worked. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also quite a lot about like breaking taboos, like for example, yeah. bringing the sanitation issue to the agenda. Mm -hmm. That's like ultimately underlying almost everything, and if you're not tackling that, you can't really have development. All right. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you.